kind of kind of get in closer a little bit. Thanks for being here this afternoon. I'm pleased to be joined by Houston Professional Firefighters Association President Brian Sky Eagle and uh, members of my management team in the fire department, members of his team within the union to announce a tentative new contract for the rank and file in the Houston Fire Department. Uh, I asked Mr. Sky Eagle how we should characterize this agreement and uh, we agreed to say that uh, neither of us is really excited about what's in the contract, but it moves us forward. It's a workable arrangement. It requires ongoing commitment from both sides, uh, which is appropriate. Uh, neither side got everything they wanted, but the fact that we were able to uh, successfully negotiate not just this contract, but the interim agreement that uh, went to council a, a few months ago is a good sign going forward. Uh, there was a lot of give and take on both sides, as I said, uh, and the fact that we were able to have productive conversations around a potential uh, tax revenue cap next year kept us focused on what can we do to solve the problems that we had been experiencing and that we addressed in the uh, interim contract, and what can we do together to make sure that if there are significant revenue challenges in the future that we haven't uh, closed doors that we should leave open and that we haven't put ourselves in a, in a position that we can't navigate through. Under the agreement, firefighters will receive 4% uh, across, across the board pay increases on January 1st, 2015. And there is a provision allowing for additional negotiations starting February of 2016, uh, after we have gone through that, uh, the challenges around the 2016 budget. Uh, there are also numerous changes regarding time off for holidays, vacations, and sick time uh, that will help provide adequate staffing so we don't get into the situation uh, that we were in earlier this year where uh, we had to park vehicles because we didn't have enough uh, staffing on a daily basis. That interim contract was a good starting point for the discussions of what is the appropriate level of uh, firefighters to be off on any given day, a, an opportunity to really go down into the staffing levels and put hard caps in place to make sure that we protect public safety. We continue to provide the services that uh, we all need in one of the largest and best fire departments in the United States. The proposed contract, in addition to the 4% across the board pay increase starting in uh, January of next year, also includes more than 20 changes affecting staffing levels, leave, promotions, and disciplinary actions. Some of the key provisions are 10% reduction in the number of firefighters approved for vacation each day beginning January 2015. The elimination of a vacation banking policy that allowed firefighters uh, access to the unused vacation days of their coworkers, thus limiting each firefighter to the number of vacation days he or she has personally accrued. New restrictions capping the number of firefighters off for guaranteed holidays to 5% of minimum staffing levels uh, with a blackout on guaranteed holidays during the peak months of July, November, and December. Uh, the opportunity to sell back unused accrued leave time. Creation of an attendance review board to recommend actions for excessive use of unscheduled absences. And uh, finally, uh, assurances that the city will not privatize or civilianize EMS functions during the term of the agreement. I want to be very clear, I have never publicly or privately indicated an interest in privatizing EMS functions within the, uh, the Houston Fire Department. I think that considering the fact that almost 85% of what our fire department does is EMS, uh, we would be cutting the heart out of the fire department if we privatized those services. I also think that one of the reasons that Houstonians have one of the best survival rates in the United States 
for uh, certain types of illnesses, accidents, and most especially heart attacks is due to the fact that we have a well-qualified, well-trained EMS cadre under the Houston Fire Department, and we want to maintain that. And so uh, we have we quickly came to an agreement on that. So this is a contract that moves us forward. It's not a long-term contract because of uncertainties in uh, future funding, but it is a contract that addresses issues of importance to both sides. I want to thank Mr. Sky Eagle and his team for once again negotiating in good faith and I hope coming to a conclusion that will pass muster with his voters and will pass muster with uh, Houston City Council.